Hi, this is a brief demo to show how you could potentially uh, remove yourself from the constraints of time and space, how you can uh, teach asynchronously, meaning uh, you could run a class when you're not actually there, the students can watch the lecture at their convenience. Uh, according to Marshall regulations, up to 80% of a course's uh, class meetings can be asynchronous before it needs any special permissions as an online or a web course. And so there's quite a bit of flexibility in how often you can do this. Uh, for me, I only really do the uh, asynchronous teaching when I've got a conference to go to or a meeting that really can't, uh, uh, can't be scheduled at any other time. Maybe I'll put a few maybe examples on, uh, on a recorded video. So what I'm going to demonstrate today is how you can get started with that. The first step will be to download a small software application from Marshall. It's free and Marshall provides good support for it. After we download and install it, then um, as uh, step two is optional. I'm going to show you how you can configure Camtasia Relay to automatically upload the videos you make to YouTube. Uh, it's optional because you don't have to put the videos you make on YouTube. It would be possible to just have Marshall host the videos that you make. Um, there are some advantages and disadvantages either way, but I'll show you what you'd have to do in order to get the YouTube thing to work. Uh, then, step three, I'm going to walk you through the process of how to actually begin a recording with Camtasia Relay. They make it super easy, and so I'll demonstrate the steps of selecting a profile, starting the recording, stopping the recording, how to upload it. And then, once you upload it, there's a very little bit of processing that has to be done, and then a link is automatically generated, or it's automatically uploaded to your YouTube account. And so first I'm going to show you where you can get the software you'll need in order to do that. Um, if you go to the web, uh, camtasia.marshall.edu backslash relay. Here's the software. Um, so you need to actually sign in to be able to download the software it looks like. So I'll do that. You just sign in with your username, not your email address. For some reason I'm always tempted to put in my email address, but it's just the username then your standard uh, Marshall uh, six character uh, password. And sign in. Uh, to download the recorder, you could go here and pick whichever operating system you're using, whether it's uh, Windows or Mac. You can see I've already got some of my recent presentations that I've recorded, but what you'll want to do is download the recorder, install it, you can get it from either spot. Um, after you install it, uh, I'll show you what happens when you uh, start the software. Um, it automatically connects. You can see here that it's connected to a server, Marshall's Camtasia Relay server, but we're not let yet logged in. It would allow you to record something as a guest, but it's much better if you just, once again, log in with your Marshall credentials. So, log in. Um, once you've logged in, uh, let's see, the steps I was going to demonstrate is um, how to configure your um, your YouTube. All right. So the reason I bring it up is that when you're about to do a recording, you have to select a profile. You have to tell it what format you want the recording to be in and where you want it to be stored. Um, understanding all the ins and outs of the different, uh, you know, codecs and processing really isn't important. Um, the the two main options that I go with is either I'll record it with Ensemble or I'll re send it to a personal YouTube account. Um, so I'll demonstrate uh, basically how to configure it so that it automatically uploads to your YouTube account. What you have to do is go into here to Profiles and uh, My Profiles, I have Publish Account Setup. If you want it to go to your YouTube account, then you have to, t to tell it which account that is. And so you know I would type in My Personal YouTube Account. And if you don't have a YouTube account, it's the same thing as a uh, as a Gmail account, uh, you know, like a, a, a Google account. Um, with with one small twist, and that is, if you want to record videos longer than 15 minutes, then you have to uh, verify the account. And to verify it, all they want to do is uh, send you a text message to make sure that your YouTube account and your your Gmail account isn't uh, associated with spam. They basically want to associate it with a a phone number, so it's relatively straightforward. So um, I would just put in my username and password for YouTube slash Gmail, in my case, wait at marshall.edu, because I have in the past created a, uh, 
um, a, a Google account with my Marshall address and I would type in my password. Now, when you do it the first time, it's working in my case because um, I've gone into my uh, YouTube account and I've said it's okay for this third party to be logging into uh, to YouTube account, into my YouTube account. Um, ordinarily, they won't let you know, some random server connect in, into your YouTube account and so they'll block it. So if the first time you put in your username and password it may say something like that the credentials didn't work. In which case you just go to uh, YouTube and then it would give you this warning here. Warning somebody signed into an account from a different location. Was it you? So you'd say you know, yes it was me. I recognize that. It was you know, Marshall's server that was trying to log in. You allow it and then you go back over here and then it'll finally accept your login. So, as I mentioned at the beginning, this step two of giving your YouTube credentials, that's an optional step. Um, I prefer my videos to be published on YouTube because it's easier for me to manage them, but uh, if, if you don't want to hassle with all that, you can have Marshall host your uh, videos and they'll look great. So, um, let's just say now that we've, uh, we've logged into Camtasia Relay after having installed it. If before you start the recording you have to tell it what sort of format you're going to want the recording to be in and so ensemble is a good format if it's going to be hosted on Marshall's server um, and you can still download a file you know Marshall will serve it for streaming to students but you could download the original source file and uh, ultimately you know, store it locally and then upload it to YouTube without this integrated approach that I'm talking about or you could upload it other places like Vimeo or you know store, uh, store it on your own hard drive for archival purposes um, or you could have it go to your personal YouTube account so let me demonstrate first of all what you would do to uh, create an ensemble recording so demo recording hosted at Marshall so you say record and it's going to give you like a brief countdown, maybe a three second countdown and then it's going to be live. Before you begin you can see whether or not it's receiving audio and I have a webcam plugged in and it's not showing any video from my webcam but it is picking up the audio. So if you're going to be talking through a presentation for your students to hear you, you've got to have a, a microphone plugged in and this you know, jumping around will tell you whether or not your microphone is actually active. Um, the auto button helps it to adjust the volume setting so it's not too loud, not too quiet. So you'd say record, and now what it's about to do is it's recording the, uh, down here it's showing how long the recording's been going. If you get a phone call and need to pause, you can pause that, take the call, resume your recording. And so it's recording in the background, and as it's recording, you know, you could start a presentation. You know, talking about whatever your course lecture is for that day and the nice thing is that since it's recording everything that's on screen you could even start up a spreadsheet if you had some calculations that you needed to do and the students are going to be able to see exactly what you see on the screen and you know you can scroll through zoom in and the picture quality is pretty good uh, in fact it's really good so uh, when you're finished with that recording you would stop it and it finalizes the recording and what you could do is take a look in a preview you can play it in preview mode before you decide whether or not to submit it to their server make sure everything looks fine and you can hear the audio you can trim parts out if you'd like to do that um, but once you click submit it begins communicating with Marshall's server and uploading that file so that it'll automatically generate a link and it'll be hosted for you so I'll dismiss that message say OK and if I go back to my Camtasia account then I'm going to see um, that presentation as it's being uploaded. We'll go here into uh, uploading. Well, it finished uploading. That was quick. So the um, I don't remember what I just called that recording that I just barely made. <laughs> it would read. That's an old one that didn't work. Once it uh, finishes uploading, what it will do in that ensemble mode 
is um, it will create a recording and uh, you'll be given a link here. If you hover over this, you notice down at the bottom it's saying what the link is and so you can right click, copy link address and then uh, you could compose a message to your students or you know paste into a handout that this is where the recording is. It's a pretty long link and so you'd probably want to just give them the link to click on rather than uh, type it in. Um, but if I click on that, uh, that will show the video. This is the uh, demonstration. Demonst um, this particular video is in such a resolution that you can't see the video if you're using uh, Chrome, but you can in Firefox. <laughs> Which is, which is one of the reasons I prefer YouTube is that I don't have these sorts of problems. Um, we put that in. It's connecting to Marshall's server. This is the demonstration for fluid mechanics with learning. All right, so uh, this is what the student experience would be like. This is for a, a a recording that I previously did. Um, you can save it locally if you want. You know, right click, save link as, and then it will put that video on my hard drive, and then I could take that video and upload it to YouTube if I wanted. Um, but let's say that instead of using the ensemble profile like we just did, what if I did the personal YouTube account? And so, uh, demo personal YouTube account. So again, we can record it, and so we can work through the uh, whatever demonstration I wanted to do for the students or the lecture for that day, including you know if there are any transitions, they'll be shown on the screen. So you go through the lecture and then you finish, and again you have the opportunity to look at the recording before you submit it to the server. Now remember this one's going to go to my YouTube account so it will upload it to Camtasia Marshall server and then Marshall server will move it over to YouTube. I'll submit it. It's automatically being transferred over there uh, so that if I go to um, my YouTube account Hopefully it'll show up here in a minute. Um, here's that demo that I had recorded earlier. Um, this is the one that I just barely demonstrated. Um, you know, this is the link for that particular one. Copy link address. So I paste the link in, and it'll automatically start playing the demo that I just did. Recording the, uh, down here it's showing how long the recording has been going. If you get it. Okay, so there's that and uh, here in just a moment what it should show is the, that's the failed one, I need to delete that, but um, the other one we did is uh, the personal YouTube demonstration and so it will transfer it over and then you'll be able to uh, to see it. Let me pause that and I'll start back up again when it's ready. So here you can see that uh, after a couple of moments of processing it's finished uploading the video, the one that I wanted to go to YouTube and if I click here then um, it will take me directly to that YouTube video. The, uh, whatever, whatever demonstration I wanted to do for the students or the lecture, lecture for that, that day. day include you notice it's not very clear yet. It's important that you change the quality into the original setting. and It'll be a lot more sharp and clear, easier to see. Um, also, if it's playing in full screen, that's a better including, you know, if there are any transitions, they'll be shown on the screen. So you go through the lecture and then you finish. All right. So Boy, it probably seems like a lot of uh, technical mumbo jumbo and nonsense, but really think of it as an investment. Once you get this set up and figured out, it's uh, going to give you the ability to, um, you know, have class and present students with the material that you otherwise would have maybe had to skip if you have to go to a conference or a meeting or um, you're sick. Or this is also great for the rare bad weather days when when you know, university's closed but there just really is too much material and uh, you would have otherwise not been able to get all that information to the students. 
it's easy to record a video and say, hey everyone, it's a homework assignment to watch this video. I'll give you a quiz next time to see that you did. Uh, so just to review, the, the main tool, your way to record this is called Camtasia Relay. And you can download it from Marshall's uh, server. You have two options when you record a video. Either have the video stored on a Marshall server or you can store the, mar uh, the video at YouTube or you know, download it to your own computer. Um, this Camtasia Relay, this is, this is uh, your presentations is one way to look at them and get the link for when they're hosted on Marshall's server. Or uh, there's another thing called, called Ensemble, which is for all sorts of video hosting at Marshall. And um, if you create a video with the Ensemble profile, it will also be transferred into the Ensemble server. And so uh, just a note that this is another place where you can have uh, videos hosted, whereas Cam this Camtasia Relay, this list and the links that are provided are just only for screen recordings. So feel free and give me a call or a stop by if you've got any questions on how to use this. It saved me a lot of time and I think it's a great, uh, great substitute for class when class would otherwise just have to be canceled. There's no substitute for being there in person, but um, there are some ways to get pretty close, assuming that you can get the students to watch the videos. So thanks. Hope you like the demo. Let me know if you've got any questions.